How's it going everyone? Parth with Atlanta JDM here to show off another one of our imports. Before we take off, I wanted to kind of go over a few things. I am sitting in a 1996 Rover Mini. This is a custom order. This is probably the nicest Mini I've ever imported to date. It's had a full restoration in Japan from the previous owner. It was someone that took good care of the car. It's got some really cool features and stuff. It's probably like a one out of one type of Mini. And um, I'm really excited. I'm gonna be delivering it tomorrow. It's gonna be kind of a quick video. Mainly, I don't, well, actually, sorry, I take that back. I don't typically do driving videos for cars that are sold or custom orders. Um, I just did one for the Jimny. I'll be delivering that one as well with this car because they fit on one trailer. And uh, that one was, you know, it was because it was special. It sounded good, it ran well. And it was probably one of the nicest Jimneys we've imported to date. This one being probably the best Mini we've imported. I wanted to show you some driving and kind of explain, you know, it does have one little minor issue. The third gear synchro is kind of going out. So if you're trying to slam it into third, it's probably not gonna, you know, <laughs> be to your advantage, but you know, it is something that is wrong with the car. Again, these are 25 year old vehicles. They do come with some issues. I'm profusely sweating right now, mainly because uh, I don't have the AC on. I have the window down. I have to keep this window up for the camera, but that's the first thing I wanted to show everyone was this does have ice cold air conditioning. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on now. To the max, it's got one little cup holder. Warm Monster is disgusting. And um, we're gonna do a little bit of driving, so. This is a 1.3 liter AC four speed manual. Um, they're getting harder to find, and if I can't find them, they're getting astronomically ex like expensive. I had a couple of people like this. This car stole caffeine and octane. Like everyone stopped by it, and I had offers for this car more than I sold it. But that's kind of like just showing everyone the market for these things. They are getting expensive and hard to find in good condition. They're literally go-karts, but they're super fun, man. Like, I used to really hate minis, and then when I drove Flavian's mini, his personal mini that he sold to us, I was like, alright, these are kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. Um, oops. And um, I, even at the car show at Caffeine and Octane, the nicest mini we ever sold, if you go on the channel, it's the 93... It's like a blue and white mini. I had that customer at the car show come up to me and talk to me about this car and was like, yeah, that's that's a nice mini. And I was like, dude, I mean, for a long time, you like held that trophy of nicest mini imported by us. This one easily takes the cake. Like, and it was painted in Japan. Like, I mean, the, the paint job is really nice. I mean, everything about this car is just, that's why I like custom orders because if that guy hadn't a place a custom order, Richard, um, we would have never seen this car. You would have never seen this car. You would have just been stuck with whatever Mini I had in stock at the time or could get, you know? So like I said, that third gear synchro is like, that issue is there, but I'm not like driving aggressively. I mean, that's if you're heel towing and stuff like that, it'll be an issue. Again, it, it is a notorious thing for minis, um, so it's just one of those things, man. Old cars, you know, old problems. But, I mean, other than that, it goes up to about 50... 55 miles per hour once you get to like a hundred kilometers it starts doing the traditional like mini shake like it's having a seizure type of thing but up to 50 it's really smooth AC is nice and cold thankfully
this is like the ultimate neck breaker though because JDM or not everyone stares at this car in traffic all right so again another short video we're gonna do a quick lap kind of back tracking uh just got done taking pictures it's just really hot outside and I want to go home and just relax before I got to drive 20 hours tomorrow but this is Richard's mini on the outside again you can see it's just beautiful the wheels look good um, the paint looks good there's really not much to complain about cosmetically this wise again it's gonna be a short video because the car it's just the previous owner in Japan really took good care of this car and all the restoration definitely shows off it's just really good paint like it's very hard to find stuff like this in Japan <coughs> the again short video there's just showing how cool this car is stole the show of caffeine and octane and also I want to just go ahead and point out <coughs> excuse me this car has been imported from Europe to Japan and then from Japan to us so it's been imported two times because it was it was uh, serviced in the UK again I don't have any documentation proving that it's been serviced there but I'm assuming from the track records and the numbers you know it still has the uh, European VIN number on it as well <coughs> man sorry um, this has been imported twice to my knowledge and it's been uh, serviced in the UK as well unless he ordered that and just did it himself which after driving it and checking it out I'd be really hard to prove to me that it wasn't originally uh, for the UK it's even got the Morris Cooper and then it's even got the rear badge as well <coughs> um, this is notorious for rust and you can see right here see this is the japanese vent plate but you can see there's no rust there's no water leaking there's i mean this mini is the cleanest mini i've gotten to date and i don't know if you heard me in the driving around video but um i had the cleanest mini i've ever sold customer at that car show because he's a atlanta native i think he's in kennesaw or marietta and even he came up he was like man that's a good looking mini and i was like that means a lot coming from you because you had that crown for a long time nicest mini i've ever imported and um but this one takes the cake i mean just look at the inside of it aside from all that that's from my feet um just full restoration looks beautiful it feels good all the foam is good the leather is good nothing cracking um the top is a little it's got some stuff on there but we're not looking up we're looking forward when we drive you know I don't know why I'm coughing so much. This is really cool. Again, the GPS just shows you floating in the middle of the ocean. But like I said, it's just a gorgeous car. There's nothing wrong with this car aside from the monster can right there. Four speed to go in reverse. Pull up and then go in fourth. A lot of people don't know that. So if you took anything from this video, at least you learned that just a good looking car this is like what we aim for all the time and oh, it's nice if you didn't hear that that was the ac compressor kicking in because i do have the ac on it is ice cold Homemade shield, previous owner had. But that is the Mini. 
and I apologize for the rushing but it's just hot and still got a lot of stuff to do this one will be uh, delivered tomorrow this is a custom order so if you are interested in that process more details on our website um, you know we prefer this method so then we can get exactly what you want as opposed to you buying something that we just import thanks for tuning in if you have any questions feel free to reach out and we'll see y'all next time